y'all and welcome back to another video today's video is super exciting because we are going squish hunting and i have a very special guest with me my mom and you will not believe how much luck we have in today's video it's actually kind of crazy in today's video will be all voiceover so let me know in the comments down below do you prefer voiceovers or filming in person and talking while we're there sometimes obviously it's harder for blasting music but just let me know what you prefer that being said let's get right in to today's video first stop of the day is burlington because i heard they're supposed to get this hug me in that i really really want and surprisingly going in there they actually had some hug me's but not the one i wanted they had this turtle henry super super cute and i'm not exactly sure what size this is i think a 10 inch they also had little monica hug me as well as this penguin hug me they also had this unicorn one and I kept on piling them up on my mom. As you can see, she was having so much fun. And finally, they had this cat, Cora, which I really do love the colors on her. And just to make sure, I checked behind the miscellaneous toys and things. But no, the one I wanted wasn't here. And these were priced at $9.99, which is a pretty good deal. So maybe we'll have to check back in the future, but today we're not getting anything. Next up, Cracker Barrel. It was a Friday when I recorded this, and usually they were stocked on Fridays. So first off, they had a whole bunch of food squish. They had the snake, which they always have, some of the bigger ones. The Hello Kitty with the strawberry. But nothing really crazy new over here. Then I went up front to see if they restocked the clips, and they did. It was honestly just a little disappointing because I was trying to get one of these for a friend and they never had them and now of course they do when i can no longer give them it but here's reed if you want to read his little bio it is super cute and then over to the right you have mita and she's always a cute one next up on the list coles hoping to find some of those squish i've seen everywhere online and surprisingly they had stuff our coles literally has nothing so this was a big shock First thing we saw were these four packs, and they were $24.99, but you do get four 7-inch squish, so really, that's not that bad of a deal, like, it's $6 per squish, I think. And here's this little Sea Life bundle, super cute, with Kai and the lobster, but my favorite one is the food pack with the milk, the peanut butter, the guac, the popcorn. Oh my gosh, they are all so cute. This one definitely tempted me, but I literally have nowhere to put it. But nothing else in this aisle, so we checked the other toy section, and surprisingly, our luck kept going. They had the new little 5-inch ones. Now, I'm pretty sure someone was missing from this squad. Let me know in the comments who it was. But they did have Jiri, if I'm saying that correctly. And my mom's personal favorite, Fifi, with the little headband. I mean, come on, that's so cute. And then my personal favorite, Sky. I usually am not a big fan of these squish, but this one was super, super cute. Like, usually the squid ones aren't for me, but Sky really spoke to me. I love the colors. And then last but not least, there was this hippo, which had that little funny belly that my mom liked. But she was telling me it's not as good as the other one, so she can't even look at it. But here's Hannah if you want to see her bio. And they also had these Squishville sets. And then while we're walking down, we saw these pool floaty items, which is so awesome because I've been looking for these. So the first thing we saw were just the standard pool floaties. And then on the other side, there was these Squishmallow beach balls. My mom did drop literally all of them down, so I had to come to her rescue and fix them. But tell me Sunny is not super cute in that size. And then a Gordon beach ball, I really, really need that. If we had a pool, we definitely would be buying that. Maybe for the beach, though. Let me know. And then they had this huge float. This box was so heavy. I'm obviously recording for y'all with one hand, so I tried to pick it up. And I don't know if I'm just weak with my noodle arms or what, but my mom definitely had to help me. It is pricey at $100, but it's huge. And I'm not sure how I feel about the fabric also being soft on the float. Maybe I'll have to test it out for y'all. Let me know if that's a video you'd want to see. 
And then going back on the side to make sure we didn't miss anything, there was a scarlet little floaty as well. And finally, the biggest item, the coolest one we kind of saw, was this Archie the Axolotl sprinkler or splash pad. It is super cute if you have kids or even maybe for pets, uh, as long as they won't tear it up. Even though these were super cool, we decided we weren't getting any, but let me know if you want a review on all those. Going back to take some thumbnails, we saw Pac sitting over here. So is he part of the 5-inch squad? I literally have no idea. Next stop of the day, we headed over to TJ Maxx, and this is actually our last stop as well. In the luck, I cannot believe it. They had all of these Squishmallow book bags. My mom went to her favorite, which surprisingly wasn't the tie-dye one. But I was looking for the price decks. I'm like, how much even are these? Because I know they're usually expensive. But only $16.99, really not terrible at all. You've got some classic ones in there. My mom's favorite was the little dragon up top. And then to the normal squish, not book bags, they had this ginormous dinosaur. And he was really squishy. I kind of like that. And then they also had a giant Gary, which is tempting because y'all know I love the neutral colors. But I have nowhere to put it. But that would make a really great pillow. And especially for that price, I should have got it. And then a couple days ago, we saw Spider-Man squish here. But we didn't see the other versions and today they had this ghost version of spider-man super cute and of course six dollars even though we didn't get anything from any of these stops today it was super super successful all right so that is all we have for today right yep but it was a really really successful squish hunt today it was weird it was weirdly good, huh? Yeah, because usually these places did not have nothing like this. Like, I, we were just going to random places hoping, and they actually had, like, everything we expected and more. Oh, yeah. Which is crazy. So, you will definitely have to let us know in the comments down below what was your favorite thing we found in today's video. Mine is probably those Cole's pool accessories. Those are pretty cool. I like them. I like the shark. Which is your favorite out and of everything. I, and I like the Axel little um, sprinkler. That was cute. That was cool. That was cool. That Did was you fun. like the book bags more though? Or you like the cool stuff? I like the pool stuff. The pool stuff was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, you guys will have to let us know in the comments down below what was your favorite. But until the next video, we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Go, it's a me. It ain't It ain't, it ain't, it ain't it's, been, it's country. Let's all go, y'all. Oh, right. we're going to Cracker Barrel right now. Y'all here? Let's go in the Cracker Barrel right now. Y'all, let's get it down on the I ain't saying nothing now. And they look at you admiring the Cracker Bell sign. It's beautiful. Look at the old man in the chair right. and the barrel. Old country store.